Hi, my name is Michael Daybreak. Welcome to Daybreak Season 1. Here is something to think about. I call this message, Wanted, Dependable Person. In virtually every classified section of the newspaper, we find some employer advertising for a dependable person to occupy some position of trust and responsibility. I have talked with many business owners who state that finding employees that they can count on is their number one problem. No organization can, can succeed without dependable personnel. The lazy, irresponsible, hit and miss type is a shame to his company and hinders its effectiveness. It is equally true that the local congregation cannot be an effective organization unless it consists of dependable Christians. That is, members who will shoulder their responsibilities along with the rest and cooperate to fulfill the mission of the church. While the Bible does not use the word dependable, it does use equivalent terms such as steadfast and zealous. Every Christian should be characterized by these terms. He should be one who can be counted on at all times. The sad but true fact of the matter is, however, that many congregations have a percentage of undependable members, members who couldn't hold down a job for a week if they conducted themselves towards their work like they do towards the church and its work. Let's look at a few examples. Most congregations adopt a particular series of the studies of their studies for their Bible classes. This is to facilitate the edification program of the church. Members of the church need to be instructed in the knowledge of the Bible, but the effectiveness, effectiveness of the Bible classes and any sermon series is compromised because of those members who are present only now and then and thus fail to receive the overall benefit from the series of lessons. To have a thoroughly effective edification program, we need members whose presence we can depend upon. The Bible authorized a pooling of resources of the member on the members on the first day of the week in order to facilitate the work of the church. You can see this referenced in 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verses 1 through 2. Obviously, any kind of budget or a plan expenditure of funds from the church treasury depends upon consistent generous contributions of the members. The church needs members who are dependable in their contribution. We need those who are not only generous but can be dependent upon to plan ahead and give regularly. Because of some who give on a regular, inconsistent basis, important work of the church must be curtailed, plans left unfulfilled, work not completed. The sum of all that we are trying to say is simply this. The church of our Lord needs each member to be dependable in shouldering our responsibilities. More dedicated in our efforts to put the kingdom, the kingdom of God foremost in our lives. I hope that this message has touched you and brought you closer to our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If this story has touched you and you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please click the link in the description box labeled Good News. It will take you to a video where I will say a prayer with you to repent of your sin and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Well, until next time, this is Michael Daybreak signing off. Take care and goodbye.